go to my channel and here i'll be showing you how you can construct the auxiliary plan of an hexagonal uh, uh, pyramid how you can construct the auxiliary plan of an hexagonal pyramid and i want you to get all the information completely so what we need to do first is to draw the uh, plan and the front elevation of a truncated hexagonal pyramid the hexagonal pyramid is a truncated one okay so what we need to do as i said is to draw the plan and the front elevation of the hexagon the truncated hexagonal pyramid so we have the center line vertical center line like this okay then we draw the horizontal center line okay so the distance across corners of the uh, of the base of the hexagonal base of the pyramid is 60 millimeters so i'll be taking the measurement of um of 30 millimeters as half of 60 so here i'm going to construct a circle construct a circle like this and then this circle will be divided into six equal parts like this okay so then i'm going to number this point i'm going to number this point okay so this point i will call this point this is point one this is point two this is point three and this is point four this is point five and this is point six so we are going to join this point together so we join this point together which i believe you know how to construct a uh, hexagon using this method so we join so three and four together like this so we join four five together then we join five and six together and we'll connect one and six together all right so that is the hexagonal base of the pyramid so the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, move up then we draw a horizontal line like this then so with our square so this point so we take it to meet the we draw it to meet the horizontal line and we also draw this to meet the horizontal line so we draw from five to meet the horizontal line and from four to meet the horizontal line okay so then we take the height so the total height of the pyramid i will also take it as uh, 60 millimeters so then this point so will be joined with the apex of the pyramid and this point also will be joined with the apex of the pyramid and this point will also be joined with the apex of the pyramid and this point also will be joined with the apex of the pyramid like this all right so now so before we continue so let's locate the point at which the cutting plane will cut uh, the, the the pyramid so let's take a measurement of uh, 35 millimeters from this point so up this is 35 millimeters and let's say the cutting plane is inclined at an angle of uh, 30 degree to the horizontal at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal so i'll bring my cell square to this point so 30 degree cell square to this to this point on the center line then i will draw the cutting plane so the cutting plane goes like this so this is the cutting plane so let's call it cutting plane pp All right, so this part is cut off. So the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to make this line a thick line. 
Then we make this line from. So I need to extend this. So we make this line a thick line from here to here. I'll make it a thick line from here to here. Also, so we make this a thick line. So from here to here. And then, so the base. So we also make it a thick line from here to here. Alright, so we are going to number this point. So this point, I will call it 1 prime. And this point with 6. So here we have, but we have 3 prime, a comma 6 prime. And this point, so we have this to be 3 prime, 5 prime. And then this is point 4 prime. Okay, so now, so the next thing that we are going to do is that let's uh, take the point at which the object is being viewed as uh, the angle sorry the angle at which the object is being viewed as 45 degrees so which means we have an arrow here so which is at 45 degree to the horizontal at 45 degree to the horizontal so this angle here So this angle is 45 degree. Alright, so the angle at which the object is being viewed is 45 degrees. So that means uh, we want to produce the auxiliary plan, as I said, auxiliary plan of this truncated hexagonal pyramid. So since the angle is being viewed or the object is being viewed at 45 degree. So since the object is being viewed at 45 degrees, so we need to make this about 45 degrees square to produce a line, a line from each point on the on the uh, on the front elevation. We are constructing auxiliary plan. That's what we want to do. So whenever we are to construct auxiliary plan, we have to project lines from each point on the front elevation. Please take note of that. So what we need to do here now is to draw a line. With a 45 degree from this point and from this point also we draw a line okay so that's for the base and also you come here from this point we draw a line which is at 45 degree and from this point also we draw a line at 45 degree so this is what we are going to use to construct the base so we move away a little bit and we draw it's the same 45 degrees square we draw perpendicular lines to this line so we are still using 45 because 45 plus 45 will give us 90 so we draw a line like this okay so the next thing that we are going to do as we are looking at this object in this direction so we can see this point you can see this point and this point okay so this point now so this point is point 0.4 so i will write 4 here okay then we need to locate other points that we have here. So this point 3, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.1, and point 0.2. So this is how to go about it. Just pay attention to what I'm going to do. So what we need to do now is that, so we come here, so we draw horizontal line. So I'll only do it on one part. So we draw horizontal line. Then we have to draw a vertical line here. So draw a vertical line here. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take the distance between from this point, distance between this point and this point. I'm going to take that distance. So with my compass, so I will take this distance. So from here to here. Then I put at this point for here. And I make an arc here. And then I make an arc here. So now, so with my 45 degrees square, I'm going to transfer this point to the other side. So I'll transfer this. To this side and also here i will transfer this to this side so now so to locate those points so looking at what we have here so if you follow this line here we have three and five three and five at this point so this is point three and this is point five here so take note of that then this here we have two and six so this is point two and this is point six here then here we have we have point one here so now for the base so by the time i'm looking at it in this direction i'm going to see this troop this line so being joined together so as a thick line this also be a thick line so i will join this together like this okay so and i will also join 
these two points together that is four and five like this okay so i will also see this line so i need to make this line a thick line okay then i will also make this line a thick line so why this one it will be hidden from me it will be hidden from me so i'll draw it with short dashes line like this also this will also be drawn that is two to one will be drawn with short dashes line all right so now the next thing that we are going to do is that we need to so i'm going to extend this line so i will extend this line then so i need to draw a line from the apex of the pyramid here so i draw from here so this is the apex here in the auxiliary plan that we are constructing so what i need to do now is that i will join this point five point five i will join it together with the apex and also point three i will join it together with the apex like this also point two i will join it together with the apex then point six i will join it together with the apex of the pyramid like this all right so now so with what i've done here we are going to draw uh, a line from each of these points on this part here we are going to draw a line from each of these points okay so this point this is point four here and this contains three and uh, five so why this point contains two and six and this point is point one so let's take note of that so what we need to do now with our 45 degrees s square so i'll just be taking it one by one so from four so from point four so i will draw a line so with the same 45 degrees s square like this just to meet this line then i'll take note of this point so this is point four here okay so then we have three and five so if i draw a line from this point like this okay so it touches three at this point so this is point three and this is it touches five at this point this is point five so let's be taking note of that so next one is six and two so if i draw a line from this point so two six so if i draw like this okay so it touches two at this point and it touches six at this point so we are looking at we are using this line so where they intersect so that's what i'm using okay so last one is one so if i draw a line from here like this so it intersects line one line four and line one they're on the same point so it intersects one at this point okay so those are the points so we are going to join this point together so we join this point together like this so we join this point together okay like this so we join this together with this so we join this together with this and we join this together okay and then we join this together all right so then we are going to make this line make it a thick line like this so you make this line also a thick line okay so this line so you make it a thick line like this then we also make this line a thick line so this line also will make it a thick line then the line so this line so which is from one up so we make it short dashes line you can't see that line so make it short dashes line so another thing that we need to do here is that we need to ash the surface so we need to ash the surface we can use a 45 degrees cell square so we need to make use of 60 degree cell square like this All right. 
right, so now so we have arched the surface. So we have arched the surface. Another thing that they may ask you to do here. So if you are asked to draw the complete plan, so this plan is not complete. So in case you are asked to draw the complete plan and also the auxiliary plan, we have done that. We have complete plan. That is this is where we have to do that. So let's quickly do that together. So in case you are asked to do that as part of the questions uh, given to you. So what we need to do is to join this point three and six together. So we join that diagonal and also we join diagonal two and five. We join them together like this. All right. So then the next thing that we are going to do is that so from point one on the elevation that is here so we draw a vertical line to intersect the horizontal center line one at this point so this is so this is the point okay so we take note of this point so you see this is point one then we have point two and six so we draw a vertical line here so this is point two and this is point six then next one we have point three and five like this so this is point three and this is point five so the last one is point four so we draw a vertical line from here so this is point four like this so we join so we join this point together like this Okay, so we join this together and we also so we join this together like this. So we join this together. So what we need to do now is to ash this surface with 45 because we can use 45 for this. So we ash this surface. All right, so this is the complete plan. This is how it will look. Another thing is that, um, so this line we need to join them so very very important so if we have to draw it completely uh, uh, a complete plan so these are the lines that we see on the uh, on the elevation on the solid uh, on the solid uh, uh, truncated hexagonal uh, pyramid as we have it here so we need to draw these lines like this okay so this is the complete plan. This is how it will look. And this auxiliary plan, as I said. So thank you and God bless you.